Okay, next we're going to do the work together problem. So let's go to our online book, go to accounting chapter five, and we're going to go to our end of lesson review, to our working papers, and go to work together. Okay, on this problem, there's three different parts, endorsements and two checks. It says, for each of these situations, prepare the appropriate endorsement. Enter student's signature in the cell where you would enter the endorser's signature. So if we were going to write a blank endorsement, what would you write? You would write your name. And in this problem, you're supposed to put student's signature. Next you are going to write a special endorsement. So think about what you would do if you were going to write a special endorsement, transfer the check to Clara Kwan. Okay, this one we would write, pay to the order of, and then we would write whoever we're giving that check to who we're transferring it to, okay? So where you have a special order, it's special endorsement, it's gonna to go to Clara, and then we will endorse it. And again, if you were doing this, you would write your own name in the student signature, but for this problem, we are supposed to write student signature. Okay, a restrictive endorsement to deposit a check to the count of Grantsburg Accounting. Okay, so this one, we are going to make sure it only gets deposited in Grantsburg Accounting. For, so we're gonna put for deposit only to, whoops, the account of and your signature. And if I spelt everything right, it should be good. Okay, going on to the next step. We are going to do record check 151. Record the balance brought forward on check stub number 151. And then we're going to record a deposit, prepare the check, and enter your student signature where you would sign the check. Okay, so we're, it says record the balance brought forward on check stub number 151. This is check stub number 151. Our balance brought forward is 2145.88. And that came from right there. Record the deposit of $316. So we had a deposit of $316, and it was made on June 30th. Okay, June is the sixth month. I believe you have to put that in there, 30th, and $316. Then it says... Prepare check 151 for repairs. Use June 30th as the date, okay? So we're gonna fill out the check stub first. The check is for $148. The date is June 30th. It is to A1 Computers, and it is for repairs. We'll go down here. Our subtotal, if we take $2,145.88 plus $316, we should come up with $2,461.88. In this others, we won't have this right now. That is for when we have service charges and stuff like that that we don't have to write out a check for. Our subtotal is the same, $2,461 and 88 cents. The amount of this check is 148. 
So if we have a balance of $2,461.88, we write out a check for $141 or $48, our balance is going to go down and it'll be $2,313.88. Then we will go through and we will write out the check. The date is June 30th. Pay to the order of A1 Computers. The amount is $148. And then we're going to write it in words, 100 and $148 and zero cents over 100. It is for repairs, and you would sign your name if you were authorized, but in this problem, we are writing student's signature. And that looks good. And then we will go on to check 152. We will do one more of these together, and then I'll let you do it on your own. Record the balance brought forward on check stub number 152. The balance brought forward is $2,313.88, and that's what we um, came up with with our balance from our previous check. And this goes to Southwest supplies oh supply sorry s u p p l y and it is for supplies and it's for $62 use june 30th as a date Okay, so that's taking all the information and putting it into our stub. Okay, now to figure out the balance down below. Our balance brought forward is listed there. We don't have a, any deposit. We didn't deposit any money, so our balance now is $2,313.88. There's no other, so our subtotal is $2,313.88. The amount of this check is $62, so we are going to subtract it from our subtotal and we'll come up with $2,251.88. Then we will write out our check. It is June 30th. Paid to the order of South West Supply. It is for $62. And it is, when you write it out, It is for supplies and the student your check would look like this now you need to check canvas for your assignment for today